Test. Test one, two. Yep, yep. Sorry, I'm late. I chose the wrong time to install a new viewer. And it, uh, I have some jurors to write. <laughs> but the irony is never lost. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so let's see. Um, Veer, would you give us a rundown on the current viewers? Yeah, let's see. We haven't had a promotion uh, for a while. We've got a couple that are pretty close. We've got uh, Maintenance Zante, which is uh, looking good. It's got a nice crash rate and uh, uh, is is close. We've also got uh, the Profiles viewer, which is close. So I think one of those is going to be um, coming out next. Um, there are a couple of issues that were identified uh, in the context of name changes, but there aren't any must-fix viewer issues there. So I think those are going to be coming, kind of going along subsequent to, to name changes going out. Um, we've got the camera presets viewer uh, is in, I think it's just a test viewer right now, but it is a pretty close to feature done. So that'll be coming out as either a project viewer or an RC in the not too distant future. Um, we'll, we'll keep people posted on that. I will actually ready for testing. Um, we have Dirt Viewer 440 EEP, which is, uh, we're still, uh, we've still got uh, the, the graphics folks plugging away on uh, some bugs there. Um, you know, we're getting out as soon as we can. But uh, it's it's still not uh, you know ready to get release. Uh, let's see what else is going on. I, I guess those are the the big things that are uh, uh, reasonably close to coming out at this point. And we're essentially doing all our development in Git now. That transition is we haven't finished converting all of the. The third-party package repositories that's being done as part of the um, Visual Studio 2017 slash Xcode upgrade project. Um, so that's coming. Um, but we don't change those very often, so that's not a huge problem yet. Um, Yes, we do. We do realize. Uh, but, you know, these things take time. What can I tell you? Um, so that's all. That's all uh, in progress. And internally, at least, is going smoothly. I hope it hasn't caused any of you too much trouble. Um, but we'll be, we'll be, uh, continuing on that path for a while. Uh, the other, you should have all seen the note we posted on the forums or the blog, whatever it was, um, that we will no longer be testing Windows 7. So doubtless bugs will begin to accumulate. Um, as far as I know, it will continue to work there for a while at least, but it's not a good idea. Um, what you do about that for your viewers is entirely up to you. But of course, if you're merging from us, you're liable to merge in the bugs we haven't caught. Uh, so uh, I think that's the that's the viewer related news. Um, the floor is open for discussion, questions, comments, concerns, whatever. Uh, last I heard, VS 2017 was down to just one 
problem and it was actually in the integration tests, not in the viewer itself. Um, so it's probably getting real close, but it got, uh, that work has been held up by uh, some of the stuff related to Git, getting our internal validation scripts working again so that they work with Git. So uh, it's looking as though that's liable to come out pretty soon, at least to the project viewer stage, so that we can, you guys can try it. Yeah, the the big holdup with with that project turned out to be that the old the the boost library that we used to be using to implement um, uh, not threading the uh, coroutines. Thank you, Beck. Um, the coroutines um, need it had wouldn't build with 2017. Um, and in any event was has been replaced by boost fiber in the standards track. So we did the conversion to that and that ended up having a bunch of subtle effects as fancy infrastructure like coroutines has a tendency to do. And it took us a while to sort through those. Um, but I think that's under control now. So yes, hopefully moving to 2019 will be easier. And of course, in the meantime, Xcode came out with two or three releases. So we we had a, a little things to do on each of those. It's the way it is with new compilers. We haven't had any time to spend on the Linux stuff. Sorry, it's way down on the priority list. And is likely to stay that way for a while. Uh, it's unfortunate, but there you go. We just are, we have too much to do. Grumpity keeps asking us to build things. And we are still working on getting things lifted up to AWS. Still? <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, fewer dev will start to have more branches. I don't know about many. Depends on your definition of many. Yeah, basically, as people working in different dirt viewers get their stuff ported over, it's going to keep accumulating more branches. So, I would uh, I would definitely expect to see more there. Yeah, those server roles didn't go as smoothly as we hoped. They weren't even really roles. They were just restarts. But It was a really rocky day on Tuesday. Um, 
It, it came out of our desire to do things in a less disruptive manner. Um, and uh, as April said, um, the road to hell was once again, or sorry, we called it the road to downtime, was once again paved with good intentions. Um, because that manner turned out to be uh, in no way less disruptive than if we had done things the regular way. Um, we were using some code that hadn't been used in a while, and, well, you know what happens with code. But we thought we had it tested, and apparently we under-tested it. Yeah. Katie, are you seeing ongoing issues with failed logins? I'm not sure how frequently, but I have one rather paranoid user that I was working with who was absolutely convinced she was targeted by a script from somebody. And I'm trying to come up with some explanations to chill her out. Targeted by a script that prevents her from logging in? Apparently, she crashed in the middle of an important thing that she was doing about performance. And she was convinced that somebody used a script to crash her and then keep her from logging in. And I gave her the explanations. So I'm just kind of looking for keep her from logging information. In. Yeah, I so, And, and, and this, was, this was past Tuesday? Or? Uh, no, I think it was actually. Sunday. Okay, so because we had this issue where uh, some regions weren't restarted for an extended amount of time, some problems did accumulate. Um, and it's very difficult to disentangle those from um, other types of problems. Um, I'd say if you're seeing issues past this Tuesday, uh, with logins in particular, um, or, or otherwise that are like these recurring issues that we don't have explanation for, definitely let us know. But if it was before then, I, you know, we may be likely to attribute it to uh, our failures to restart regions. 
Okay. I just want to give her something concrete to work with. Cause... Yeah, there was a, a forum post where we said, oops, we forgot to restart regions. Uh, maybe. I can find it for you if you want. Oh, that'd be good. I don't know if we'll convince her, but that's all I can do is give her information and let her absorb it and reduce her paranoia level. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we we have seen some issues with people attempting to log in twice very close together, and a recent change to login makes that not work anymore. And it 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 used to be that sometimes it would it would work. Um. If you crash uh, and you attempt to log in, it will say, it, you know, it'll give you a message to say, you know, you're already logged in and we're, we're cleaning up. Uh, and it tells you to wait a couple of minutes and then try again. If you ignore the wait a couple of minutes part, you will keep failing. Um, and if you just, you know, try to log in every 10 seconds, you'll keep on failing because every time you try to log in, you're actually refreshing your presence. And uh, so uh, wait a minute or two. And then I would not be surprised if that's what happened. Uh, she said she couldn't get in for a good half hour, but if she kept doing that. If you try really fast, you can keep it broken for quite a while. Uh, oh, well, yeah, it, it, we could change the message, but nobody ever reads messages, so it doesn't really help. That's a fair point. We can uh, change the messaging. You to wait a couple of minutes. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah, it does say that. I've had it happen, too. <laughs> Um, if we change the words, maybe it'll catch somebody's attention because it's a new message. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never used to wait, and it never caused any problems. So if if it starts being a message yeah. people actually need to listen to, then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we we could try that, Polly. Yeah, might work. Actually, my my recollection was how it used to work was when you'd retry while it still thought you had an active session, then the fact that you tried actually caused you to get your state to get cleared. Maybe that's part of what's changed. Um, yeah, but there's still there's there's a pending log off state that while your session is being cleaned up. And if you try to log on before that has before that has been cleared, uh, you'll mm. you'll fail again. It takes it, it. It probably actually takes much less than two minutes, but um, but it is easily possible to just push the button fast enough to 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 do it. And when I was looking at logs for this, I was seeing people attempting to log in in as little as three seconds and. Um, as much as uh, 15 or 20, and and they were getting the error again. I also saw a couple of cases in the logs of people trying to log in, and I would see a successful login attempt followed in exactly one second by another login attempt. Um, and that won't work. I, I don't have any way of knowing if that was some kind of retry, some something that hadn't gotten back to the viewer and it was retrying or whether that was them actually trying to log in a second viewer very, very close together. Uh, no way for me to tell the difference between those. Um, uh, but I did see a couple of instances and um, it no longer works. To, it, there, there was a time when it 
sort of worked to, it, or it was possible to make it work to log in two viewers at once if you did them very, very close together. Um, that's, we've closed that hole, so. Uh, which is actually what causes the, the other problem is that we, we cleaned it up. Oh, hey there. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. It actually wouldn't surprise me if it turned out that it was possible to click the login button twice really close together and make that happen. Not having tried it, I, I wouldn't discount the possibility. Or, you know, saved. Oh, okay. Beck, that sounds plausible, yeah.
Are the login services centrally located? How do you mean, Nikki? In physical space? I was supposing was that perhaps the it's a random problem where the disconnect time is greater than in some locations than it is another. That's conceivable, just because the disconnect does take, there's a bunch of asynchronous operations that take place. And if something was slow, it, it, it's possible that it would be different. But it's never going to be super short, deliberately. No, we didn't change disconnect. We only changed the login.
Oz and I regularly have fights about whether a particular problem merits blocking logins or not. It almost never does. Like, if you log in and have instant inventory corruption, for example, um, then perhaps it merits blocking logins. Stuff like that. Uh, although, I think just earlier this week I told Oz it doesn't. That conversation isn't really over yet. <laughs> Is it ever? Y'all run out of issues? <laughs> yes, it's it has been for quite some time, actually. The one I meant, the, the timing thing. Well, it's probably not a good idea to leave that running, Polysale. Well, but there's a difference between if you log out successfully, which I assume it's doing if it's retrying, and if you uh, crash out and don't disconnect cleanly. Right. It's entirely plausible also that Radagast, due to its nature, has a much quicker logout process because there are fewer things to terminate. Right. All right, it sounds like you really did run out of topics. Okay. Um, we will see you in two weeks. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thank you.